Hi, I'm Margaret from the States. I'm Ladi from Czech Republic and we live in this van full time. We bought an old tradie van and converted it into a modern, ergonomic, portable capsule. Let us take you for a tour of our tiny home. An important aspect about our van's appearance was that we are always stealth, not particularly luxurious nor loud. We designed this van around our own behavior patterns, hobbies, and specific needs. Neither of us like going through a long process in order to do something simple. As we first walk in, you pass our entry unit. This unit opens from both sides, so when the van door is open, we can access our things outside as well. Along the side is where we store our daily shoes. So this is where we'll have slippers or whatever shoes we're wearing for the day for easy rotation when we first come into the van. We had to be smart about our storage in such a small space. We keep our dry foods up top along with our condiments and then a lot of our everyday items we have mounted on the wall, spices and our utensils. On the countertop we have a gas stove and we also keep our chopping board just on top of the sink. This allows us to extend the counter space to access the sink. We can just pull it back. It's stopped by the swivel and then we can do whatever we need to do. The soap doesn't move either because it stays on the poppet. Below we have our everyday drawer, fridge, trash, and then the rest is dedicated to pots and pans. This is our towel rack. It swivels and when we open it up, it's hit directly by our heater so it dries very quickly. Below, we keep our rice cooker, snacks, sometimes a kettle, depending on what we're using. And then below that, we have some of our fresh fruit storage. Normally, we carry enough with us for about four days. And then here on the left is our step. We use this to get up top onto our bed. We just pull it up and step up pretty gracefully. The bottom is also hit on a magnet. What I love most about this kitchen is just by standing here in the middle, I can reach and access absolutely everything. Nothing requires me to be running to the other room or having to get out of the van and walk to the back. It's all just here. This compartment unit covers everything technical in this van. We have one of our deep cycle batteries, we have sensitive relay that switches on and off charging when driving. We have fuses, we have solar regulator, car charger, power inverter. And this switch switches power in our outlets inside of a van uh, between inverter and external power source, like a car charging station. All this was custom built based around my dimensions and my needs so this desk folds down it locks in a hole so i can accidentally kick it and break something this seat goes back and forward up and down and it also has an armrest it's super convenient super comfortable it's like being in an office my phone lives here in a magnet i have a short cable that plugs in and nothing extra is on this desk. My laptop lives right here. I can easily be charging it during the day. And I have my graphic tablet here too. I also designed a little extension here for Margaret. So when we eat together, she's a little bit closer and she can have her plate. Also, it has another position for me. So now I have extended the table for my snacks, for my drinks. It just can be better. <laughs> This is Margaret's office. <laughs> she faces forward for ideal lighting conditions. And she also has four hooks here to hang her canvas on. That canvas creates a background to always have uh, consistent conditions so you never know she's actually in a car. And then I build her this custom uh, laptop aluminum stand that hooks right here and sits here. So it pushes the surface a little bit forward and it's built based on this laptop. Along the sides here, we put all of our clothes. So we organize them into packing cubes. So we always know what's inside. 
We have two roof windows, one directly above where we sleep so we can get some really nice fresh air in the middle of the night. This roof window doubles as an observation deck so Lottie can always look outside to see what's going on. Right below it, we have overhead storage for our daily use items. We made these dividers to keep everything more organized, but sometimes the compartments are occupied by our per machine. These units, that was a really smart idea how to utilize this space because we have hygiene things, uh, we have courts, and again, it helps so much to save that space that these things would be sitting somewhere else. We use this panel as a blackboard. This is a metal sheet for purpose of being magnetic because now we have all these markers on a magnet and we have a bunch of pins that we can clip paper to when we need to. Above our side door, we have our temperature station. This gives us the time, the date, and also allows us to know the temperature inside the van and outside the van. Next to it here, we have our mirror, two coat hooks, and then two power panels. This first one is our battery statistic display. This tells us how much we're charging, how much we're discharging, and the amps that each of our individual appliances are using. The second one is a switchboard. We can turn on and off our water, fridge, inverter, and there's also a voltage reader. Of course we are outdoor people, but weather doesn't always agree with us. For these days, there is nothing better than a good movie, and who actually enjoys watching a movie on a laptop when he can have a cinematic experience? our projector. This is a $120 HD projector we found online. It is 720p and we can play movies from USB stick or from our laptop through HDMI cable. It also has a built-in speaker. We designed and built these custom curtains. One side is black and the other side is silver to either retain or reflect heat. They are reversible on magnets. We just love those magnets. This garage is the reason why the bed is so high. It was designed around these two e-bikes. These machines can do between 60 and 120 kilometers per charge. They an average charge an hour and a half and the acceleration is from 0 to 106 seconds. Combination of these e-bikes with the van creates ultimate travel kit. This is our car charger, that's uh, what I custom built. That's super easy, that's a connector that, you, that the electric cars use and I wired three outlets. So whenever we are around car chargers, we can easily plug, uh, plug the entire car in, start charging e-bikes, charge deep cycle batteries, and just run the entire car off the charging station. So I have my helmets here. It's super convenient to take them out, super easy. Plus, they don't go anywhere when we are driving. Then I usually carry with me a bunch of basic tools for maintenance, for servicing. So everything is organized here. This is my utility sink that I love so much. It's convenient because when I come back from uh, riding, I can wash my hands or if I work, uh, that just helps me, I don't have to go around to the kitchen. I can easily replace this. And I have a shower head that clicks on a door and I can shower hands free. Because the bed is so low, that it would be very difficult to load and unload these e-bikes. That's why we built this. Margaret, press the magic switch. Convenient. Fun fact, this is the space that is only accessible when the bed is up and you'll never know where the magic button is. We paid overall $6,000 for the van itself and a conversion all together. Mobile living keeps us outside exploring and we are constantly stimulated by all the new places we can so easily explore. With this lifestyle, we are able to save more money per month and it's so much more fun. Our home allows us to be free. If you like this video, Please share it or leave the comment down below to help us normalize 
this lifestyle. If you're ever interested in meeting up or you want to follow along with our adventures, I'm on Instagram at Curly Hair Camping. And Panorama Man for landscape photography. Thank you very much. See you on the road. Yeah.